Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am trying to lose 20 pounds, which is the weight I have gained since the pandemic. And this is now week number seven. I have only lost five pounds, which is a little bit disappointing because I thought I would be further along. But I have to keep going and kind of change things up, make sure I'm eating more fruits and vegetables because I think that may be where I'm going wrong. Good morning! I am going to try out this Forest Almond flavor coffee that I got from the Nespresso store last week. It's like their Christmas blend, I think. I'm really excited. Look how pretty the pods are. Oh wow, that's really good. I want to talk about something I don't think is talked about enough in the weight loss community and that is how weight loss affects hair loss. I lost about 50 pounds a couple years back and I lost it rather rapidly and because of that I actually lost a lot of hair that frankly has not come back even though it has been several years. I was watching last week's vlog and I really noticed my hair loss in a number of the clips and it made me feel really insecure and I actually edited out a lot of the clips where you could see my hair loss, especially in the front, like you could see it really well and it's something that I'm insecure about to this day and it's something that I think I'm going to put more effort into trying to fix. I just want to share with you a couple things that I'm trying out and I'm not recommending these things because some of them are new so I don't know if they really work yet but I am I'm really want to work on my hair and trying to get my hair back to um, like a place where I'm not insecure about it. So one of the things is this shampoo that I bought last week. It's called Bondi Boost HG Shampoo and I googled shampoos that were the best for hair loss and this is the one that came up and I think it's supposed to be kind of minty. I haven't even tried it yet. Yeah, it smells really like, almost like mouthwash. Like it smells really minty. So I'm hoping that kind of stimulates the scalp a little bit. I have also been taking these hair, skin and nails vitamins uh, with biotin, hoping that the biotin will help more new hair grow. But so far, all it really does is make my existing hair grow faster which has been actually not that fun because it means you have to like shave more um, but I'm gonna keep taking it because like I really I'm willing to try anything um, and so yeah I, and I'm, I'm also looking for maybe a different like supplement that I could take. Another thing I have been using is a satin pillowcase um, which is supposed to be good and stop your hair from breaking at night and I have noticed my hair is a bit shinier since I started using this um, but it doesn't really like wash that well like there's some threads that are starting to come off of it but I do like it so I'm also looking to get some silk or satin hair ties because if you tie your hair really tight it puts a lot of pressure on the front of your hair and can cause hair loss which is exactly where my hair loss is so I'm looking to buy those maybe today or this week for sure. If you have any recommendations for what you've done for hair loss, like please leave them below because again, I'm willing to try anything and I'd love to hear of your remedies. I cannot believe how good this fish stew turned out. It is amazing. I just started with some onions and some garlic and I fried those up a little bit. And then I added in a full thing of faux broth, but you can also use fish broth. And actually that's what I was looking for, but I could only find this one. And actually it turned out really great. So maybe this is the way to go. Then I added in some potatoes and some carrots and let that simmer for 20 minutes. And then I added in some tomato paste. Next, I added in the fish from the freezer. This is pickerel that I bought a couple weeks back, but it's been in the freezer, so it's still good. And basically all of the vegetables that I had in the fridge. So that was one tomato and a couple mushrooms. And from the freezer, I put in some peas and um, frozen spinach. The key is to not overthink it. Just put whatever vegetables you have in a pot with like a protein and some sort of flavored broth and you will have a good soup. So 
and it's so healthy and filling and yeah just cannot believe how good it tastes i will definitely use that um pho broth again hey i was up like really late last night doing some black friday shopping so i'm so tired i canceled the gym again and i'm just really not proud of myself right now like this is not who i want to be but i guess it's who i am today i have been trying to eat more fruit this week and i've been loving these these are um cold snap pears they're like a really good type of pear you can get in canada in the winter and then I've also been really enjoying these like pomegranate arils. They're like the pomegranate seeds, but they're frozen. And I just eat them frozen. And they have a lot of fiber, so they've been really, really good. And yeah, it just feels very fancy. Like you don't have pomegranate that often. Here is my little fruit plate that I will enjoy while watching TV. And yeah, it's just like a really good alternative to like cookies or chips. I am at Canadian Tire. I'm going to get my skates sharpened because today I'm teaching my friend how to skate. And I'm really hoping she likes it because I'd love to like cycle this in as a winter activity that we can do together. Uh, we did a lot of hiking over the summer and fall, but that's just like not really an option in Canadian winter. So I'm hoping we can do skating instead. I have a bit of time before I go, so I'm just having one of my like lazy girl kind of meals. And it's just like a can of tuna. It's like spicy Thai tuna. And I just eat them on like these rice crackers. And I really enjoy this meal because it has protein and neither of these ingredients go bad. So I can just like leave them in the pantry and I don't have to worry about stuff in the fridge. I am going to end today's vlog here. I feel like this one was really like up and down. And actually pretty much all of my vlogs are like that. Like it's either a really bad day or a really good day and there's nothing in between. And I think that's actually like an accurate depiction of what my life is like. It's either really good or like really bad and there's like no middle. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching it and please let me know uh, what kind of content you wanna watch. I have ordered a lot more like hair stuff on Black Friday. So I will probably like continue um, some like hair journey things in the next coming vlogs as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.